Nestled between land and the Mediterranean Sea, in the heart of the Saint-Tropez Peninsula, you will find Chateau Minuti, one of the 23 crew class A in the Côte de Provence appellation. The chateau was built under Napoleon III and restored to all its splendor by Gabriel Farnay in 1936 as the Orator Chapel, which has long given its name to the iconic Estate Cuvée. An outstanding environmental heritage, mica schist soil, the peninsula's unique microclimate, everything seems to come together to create exceptional conditions for vines. For three generations, the Maton Farney family has put its expertise to serve meticulously these great wines and works all year long to prepare the fields for the future cuvées. Among the wines which have made the reputation of Chateau Minuti, the most prestigious is undoubtedly the cuvée Rose et Or. What characterizes the birth of great wines is above all patience, sign of rigorous, slow and passionate work. It needs years of work experience to allow an exceptional wine to emerge. October has arrived. The grapes for the previous vintage have all been harvested. A new cycle can now begin. Everything starts here. The soils need to be plowed so they can breathe and rejuvenate themselves naturally. Wishing to ensure quality in the long term, Minuti adopted an integrated farming approach. That's why all the soil work is done mechanically, without any use of herbicides. The soil is enriched with organic sheep manure, rich in organic matter, and particularly well suited for sandy soils. When January comes and winter settles over the vineyard, the soils are wet, the air is cool. Despite the winter dormancy, nature is still at work. As we continue to work the soil, the vines now need to be pruned. The main grape varieties used are 30-year-old Grenache and 20-year-old Syrah. They require the most attention. They are pruned in a Y shape. The two branches form a 30-degree angle with two arms on each side. This type of pruning will improve the quality of grapes by lowering the yield. A few months later, rain brings the vines back to life, and the time has come to disbud the vines. This practice consists in manually removing any unwanted shoots in order to manage the yield and avoid green harvesting. This step is crucial to guarantee the quality of the future harvest. The arrival of spring transforms landscapes. Warmer temperatures bring a touch of color. The first bunches of grapes appear. Flooded with heat and light, the grapes begin to grow. The quality of all our efforts has already begun to pay off, especially the pruning. It is now time to begin the trellising. Each vine is trellised at a height of 1 meter 70 to maximize sunlight exposure. Facing southwest, the vineyard receives optimal sunlight exposure, while the Mediterranean air minimizes the variations of temperature. As summer comes to an end, the harvest can now begin. The grape picking season lasts three weeks. In order to respect what nature and time created so patiently, our grapes are all hand-picked. Despite the sweltering heat, the quality control is never compromised. Each grape is chosen very carefully. Traditions and ethical values have always been part of the chateau, and all work is performed in a friendly atmosphere. Once the grapes have been harvested, the vinification begins.
Several weeks have gone by and the wines are finally ready. The determinate blending process now begins. For two weeks, the cellar master examines and analyzes the wines in order to determine what Minutis Cuvée, Rose et Or will be. There are three phases to this process. The first step focuses on the visual aspect of the wine. Its limpidity, brilliance, color, as well as its capillarity are thoroughly examined. The next step is olfactory analysis. A first smell is necessary to detect primary aromas, and a second, after swirling and aerating the wine, enables you to appreciate the wine's full bouquet. The final step is tasting the wine, the most decisive step. It allows you to identify and highlight the different flavors and aroma balance of wines. After this selection process, the cellar master proceeds to blending to create a perfect blend with a delicate balance the highest level of precision is required from him. The three best batches are selected. Then, only one batch will earn the right to become Minuti's prestigious cuvee, Rose et Or. Honoring a long-standing tradition, Francois and Jean-Étienne Maton are extremely proud to present the Rose et Or vintage. <laughs>